guys welcome back to my channel i am happy to see you oh mm. i'm so happy that you came thank you very very much may god bless you so on today's video i am going to show you how to make that delicious okwa english calls it bread food but guys please do and um, please now beg i beg well, i'm not forcing you please kindly subscribe on this my channel okay make this channel popular okay trust me i am not going to disappoint you subscribe so that you can be seeing other videos like my cooking videos and you can help me to share with your friends I'm not stingy with my knowledge and I would not like you to be still the shape with your friends. Let them support this ministry. All right, now we are about to start. First of all, just get your tray and get the dried okwa. Like you can see, what I'm using here is dried okwa all the way from Nigeria. So what I'm doing now is actually I am trying to remove the stones from the okwa. Now, eh, if you make mistake of cooking this okwa like this without removing the stones and the sand from the okwa, like thoroughly cleaning the okwa from sand and stone, I'm telling you the honest truth, you are going to regret cooking it because it will just be a waste of time. Like you just wasted your time. You, you're not going to continue eating it, honestly speaking. Okay, look at this stone that I brought out from this okwa. Hmm. Now, if you make mistake and eat this type of okwa, <laughs> it's naked. Eh? It will just be a waste of time, like I said. So it's very, very important that you try to remove the sand, remove the stone, totally. Because they normally leave the um, okwa outside to dry. So because of that, stone, sand, you know, and children are playing all over the place. So even maybe they are playing football, the sand and the stone might be entering there. Do you know what? A lot of people don't like cooking this okwa because of the time it's taking and the is always hard. In fact, there are a lot of things. For cooking this sukwa but i'm going to surprise you i'm going to show you how i did mine that is very very simple like a b c d you are not going to even feel it honestly and i'm not going to fast forward the video i'm not going to like rush the video after i did not come from russia you know i'm not coming from russia i'm going to take it step by step in fact i'm going to show you everything that i did that is if you want to learn how i did my own i cook this sukwa under 30 minutes yes under 30 minutes i cook this okra okay now i'm trying to also remove the the little little particles ngungo na ngungo, that i don't need now i have to wash it with my salt you know you have to put salt so that some of the dirty particles some of the ngungo na ngungo that came from wherever that the okra was spread has to go as some germs and some you know ngungo na ngungo. so now i'm going to wash the okra and uh, i'm going to wash it very 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 well like you can wash it two times three times yeah try to wash it up to three times so all the dirty will go follow me on this journey gradually gradually you know a lot of people normally skip some things that they are doing a lot of tutorial teachers they always skip some things they are not going to show all of them maybe because they don't want the video to be long or maybe one thing or the other but this is that it makes some people not to actually learn how to do some things you know so as i'm talking also be looking at what i'm i'm doing okay use your ear and be listening and also use your eyes and be washing so now this is the third time that i'm washing it and this is the actually the last time and you can see the water is still neat yeah because it's the thought that look at the water is still clean very clean that will show you that there is no longer dirt inside it then you can now put it inside your pot ready to cook sorry as dj hey. all right so now I am going to show you guys the ingredient that I am going to use. So this is my bitter leaf, onubu. Yeah, onubu. I'm going to use my onubu, my bitter leaf dried one. And uh, I'm going to show you guys the cocoa. That is easy seventy. Now this open is now easy seventy. That is it. This thing is a uh, hey, I don't even know how to explain this thing. Like I told you guys that I cooked my okwa under 30 to 1 hour. This is the secret. Yeah, don't worry, I'm going to show you guys what it is and uh, how, how I used it. I'm going to add it in water. I don't what's the name of this thing again. 
ngo yeah it is called ngo this is actually um baby palm leaf you are going to dry it after drying the baby palm leaf then um yeah you blend it it's very very preferable it's better than to be using a camu a camu oh i don't know if you know what is a camu um hi what is it called in english i beg who english help a camu is a camu so it's better to use that one it's better to use this one instead of a camu so now this is my pepper for pepper yeah i want to use for pepper so and the next thing now is my oil let me get it so this is the oil i'm going to use this oil is so nice so nice it's like our pure oil like it's so nice you know there's some oil that you get here uh, it will become fake like i don't know what they normally put if it's color but this one is so so nice honestly so nice if it's costly if, like almost five euro but it's nice now this is my stockfish i normally in fact i like using stockfish have you tried it with stockfish hey, hey if you have not tried cooking okra with stockfish one now nah, you are missing stock dry hard lock fillet cubes my dear go and try it out if you have not used stockfish to cook okra that is the best you know some people use um fish fish is okay dry fish is okay look at this costly almost seven euro but this one is like go and try it out i don't even i don't know what to tell you about that go and try it out then my cube my maggi whatever you call it but actually i don't like using it when cooking okra in fact when cooking a lot of things i don't like putting a lot of maggi then this is my sauce like i was telling you i don't like putting a lot of maggi because i just don't like putting a lot of maggi i don't like it so i normally use one or two highest Right, guys now i'm showing you guys what i did you just have to add water into the ungo or the unto yeah we call it unto or ungo like i said i prefer using it instead of using the um potash i prefer using this one this one is more healthy that potash is not even good for health it's not good for health a lot of people use it to cook something so that it will soften it or it will help it to to be done fat but honestly speaking is not healthy yeah it's not healthy go and ask anybody it's not healthy instead of using that one use this one the natural and locally made like it's natural and it's from um palm tree it's from palm leaves so it's i think it's 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 more okay it's more better than using the other potash it's not good for health so save it and make sure that you not add or you do not include the sand because there are a lot of sand at the bottom of this water so you have to make sure that the sand do not include it just try as much as possible to avoid adding the sand just take it away like i did before you know now the sand is not that much again but i have to still pour it away and that is it guys Okay, now I am going to pour the water inside the okra. Hmm. Come and see magic now. Just watch. Come and see magic. Come and see magic. If not for this water I am adding here, hmm, this okra is 10 years coming that is going to be okay. I'm telling you, if not for this water that I added. So the water will help it to soften. So now I want to also boil, like parboil my bitterly so that it will be soft. I don't like cooking it so much because when you cook it so much, like people say that the ingredients will go away. So I just like let it be soft a little, then I wash it. That's all. So I'm going to pack the remaining bitter leaf. Actually, my bitter leaf. Mm, I really need more of bitter leaf because this is the last bitter leaf I have honestly so I'm not going to cook bitter leaf soup again because I'll be using this one like to to burn where my ufe or to burn where my any other thing I want to cook so now I want to wash the stock fish and also add it like I have to add it on time so that it will also 
soft i don't like eating it strong you know i want it to be soft and also let the aroma mm, mm, hey let the aroma enter the okra now eh, try to prepare okra with stock fish i'm still saying it because if you literally add this okra with stock fish hey now you get a little tiggy. honestly get a little tiggy. it's very very delicious very very delicious i'm telling you honestly speaking before I prefer, before I was using um, dried fish, but later I say, hey, hey, I beg, let me start using stock fish. The first time I tried it out, it was wow. Nearly time the tentabia honestly. Nearly the tentabia so so sweet. So that is why if I want to do, like if I want to have a visitor, I always use this stock fish to prepare it. Just try it out and tell me what you think about it. This is another interesting part. Make sure that you wash your bitter leaf very, 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 I said very, 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 very well. Because if you cook your okwa, if you like put mango, if you like put anything you want to put inside okwa, if you like put sugar, if you do not wash your bitter leaf very well, if the bitterness did not go out from your bitter leaf, it will just spoil everything for you, honestly. Mm, it will just spoil everything for you. So I like washing it, then I will test it, to know if the bitterness is still there but now it's okay So I did not finish the bitter leaf because like I said I don't have much bitter leaf again so I have to still save then I have to wrap this one and put it back so that I can be able to use it next time instead of trying to put all of them. It's not so good to put much bitter leaf just a little of it is okay. Now I want to add my oil, but before you add the oil, try to test the okwa and know if it has become soft. Yes, if it, if it has become soft, then put your oil. That's it. Because if it's not soft and you add the oil, the oil will make it not to be become soft again. It will just be like that. So it's better and very, very important that you test it before adding your oil. Oh yes, now is my ogili. Yes, I hid it before so that I will, I will see some comments that will be like, hey, where is the ogili? So that's why I did not show you guys. I still have another thing that I did not show you guys. This ogili, if you do not add ogili in your okwa, your okwa is not complete. So you have to add your ogili inside it. Then begin to add other things like your salt, your pepper, your corn. That is, corn is optional. It's okay so um the next thing is to add my no like i said i don't like using more of it much of it like i have to even divide this one it's only half i use because the ogre the ogre servers the odin days maggie is ogre so once i put ogre i don't normally put much other things much so ogre is salt pepper is You they hear ram, you they hear ram on a so potter potter no fit on a so potter potter. Hey, no quadio could get ever. Oh, yes, my uqua is ready. My African breadfruit is ready to serve. Go get your plate and join me on the dining table. So, guys, now it's time of refreshment. Now, on your look one only get one So, I am done cooking. I am done teaching you guys how I prepare my own okwa. 
and the easiest way you can do mm. that now is time to enjoy myself makanonye lolol ngili kwanu ngolo ya e wasa go Don't be stingy with your knowledge. Share this video to your friends and family. In fact, all the contact in your phone. Mm -hmm. Yes, all the contact in your phone. 